Sometimes the information that we're given in a problem makes it easiest to find the multiplier involved. Just by solving an exponential equation. For example, we might have a problem that looks like this. The population of rabbits in an area will increase exponentially given appropriate conditions. At one time there are 40 rabbits in an area, and 17 months later there are 4,500. We'd like to write an equation for the rabbit population P after T months. Now the population is going to be our dependent variable. It acts like y. And the time t is going to be our independent variable. So it acts like x. So the starting value of p, the starting population, is 40. And we know that after 17 months, the population is 4,500. We don't know the multiplier, but we can figure it out. So the form of our equation will be p equals a times b to the t. So 4,500 equals 40 times b to the 17th. The first thing we want to do is get rid of this 40. So we'll divide both sides by 40. We're getting b to the t alone on one side of the equation. So 4,500 divided by 40. The number we have at this point is always going to be rational, so we, we shouldn't round it in the middle of the problem. But now we're trying to answer the question, what number to the 17th power gives me 112.5? That's a job for the root, right? If b to the 17th power is 112.5, b must be the 17th root of 112.5. That is the 17th, take any root of 112.5, we get B is about 1.32. In other words, our population is the starting value of 40 times 1.32 to the t. Every month, the population is multiplied by 1.32. If I were now going to go on to make some more calculations, I would leave this number stored in my calculator just so that I can use the unrounded version in further calculations.